Harukawa, I like you! Please go out with me! And so, that's how yesterday's confession to my classmate went. And now we're dating. It's cold today. Y yeah I was drawn into her by her mysterious aura, and the way she always seems to be paying close attention to her posture. Well then, thanks for accompanying me. Y yeah see you tomorrow. It's cute how polite she is. Uh huh? That hairpin is probably Harukawa's. She must have dropped it. Hey, Harukawa! You dropped... this... <sighs> Akiyama Kun! What? Sorry for keeping it a secret. The truth is, what you just saw, that is how I really look like. When I asked her, she told me that she's a homunculus who ran away from some research facility. Apparently, she took over the appearance of a female student who had just been ran over by a car and decided to start living as her. I'm sorry for selfishly accepting your confession. I promise to never get involved with you again. Farewell. Wait! You're always alone in school, without a single friend, right? I'm sure that's why you accepted my confession. You were feeling lonely, weren't you? If that's how it is, then don't lie about saying that you don't want to get involved with me again. I don't plan on starting a romantic relationship with someone that's not human, but I want you to know that I'm someone you can count on. So, let's keep things as they are. And whenever you're troubled, you can think of me as your boyfriend and rely on me. Uh, I can see that you're just as kind as I thought, Akiyama-kun. Damn, she's cute. But I can't. I can't fall for her. And so, our relationship continues. Let's go home, Harukawa. Huh? Aren't you afraid of me, Akiyama-kun? Since you saw how I really look. Well, I don't really know. But Harukawa is a nice and kind girl. The one that I know of, that is. Huh? Could it be that you're secretly feeding off of humans? Don't worry. My diet is the same as that of humans. Although, I could probably eat humans, too. That aside, human food is truly delicious. At first I was hunting animals in the mountains, but... But once I had a taste of a true human meal, I couldn't go back. Y you really like food, huh, Harukawa? <laughs> Whoa, hi, sorry. I got a bit too relaxed and lost control of my transformation. It's fine, just, just change it back, quickly. Mom, that girl's face is melting! Don't be rude. There's no way that could have happened. Sorry for causing so much trouble, Akiyama-kun. So, I tend to revert back if I'm not careful. To tell you the truth, it takes a lot of effort to keep my human appearance. It's fine. Really. I told you before, right? That you can always rely on me. As a boyfriend, right? Y yeah! That's right! But I only said to think of me as one, okay? Like a title or something, not the real thing. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Akiyama-kun. Oh, yeah, yesterday. You said that I only accepted your confession because I was feeling lonely, right? But it wasn't because of that, you know. Huh? I've also been interested in you for a while, Akiyama-kun. Uh... uh well then, see you tomorrow. Don't be fooled! Don't forget what she's like on the inside! Harukawa, how about having lunch outside? Sure. That's a lot of food. I'm trying to eat less, but human food is just so good that I can't help myself. It does look delicious. Well, I've been kind of making it every morning. <laughs> You always buy yours at the store or 
at the cafeteria, right, Akiyama-kun? Mm, yeah, there's only pops in my house after all. Then how about I also make your lunch starting tomorrow, Akiyama-kun? You don't have to! I feel bad making you do that! Arukawa's homemade lunch. It's okay. Cooking for one or two isn't that different. It's also to thank you for treating me the same way, even though you know I'm a monster. But... Plus, I'm Makiyama-kun's girlfriend. In name only, though. <laughs> c -c -c Calm down, me! Don't be swayed by her outer appearance! Even if she's pretty, that is the real Harukawa! <laughs> Could it be that you're thinking that I might poison your lunch? No, I'm... I'm sorry for saying something so thoughtless. I'm a monster after all, so it's normal that you have your doubts. And I do tend to suddenly expel poisonous secretions from time to time. So even if I'm careful, it might be dangerous for me to prepare another person's meal. That could certainly be dangerous. Home. Yeah, it's delicious. Uh, While it's true that I don't see you as a human, I don't think of you as someone who would poison people. So, don't beat yourself up over being a monster. That's why I'll eat your lunch. But don't take it as an obligation. Only make it if you feel like it, okay? Okay. I'm so happy to know that you trust me, Akiyama-kun. Is that so? After months of looking at you from afar in what I thought was a one-sided crush? Of course I'm biased towards trusting you. Here it is, Akiyama-kun. The lunch I promised you. Huh? You really made it? Of course I did. It's for Akiyama-kun, after all. Huh? Yeah! Harukawa's cooking is truly delicious! Especially this fried chicken. It's cold, but it's still crispy. If you use rice flour, it'll retain its crispness for a long time. Oh. You really have a knack for cooking, Harukawa. I'm sure you could become a professional chef. <laughs> Hearing you compliment me that much makes me really happy. A chef? Uh, well, maybe. If nothing changes and I end up fully integrating to human society, I might give it a shot. Yeah, I'll be cheering you on. Then I'll make something fancier next time. Thank you, Harukawa. I better start thinking about how to repay you. Oh, don't worry about that. Being able to talk with you is enough for me. Being able to talk with someone without hiding the fact that I'm a monster makes me very happy. After all, I always used to keep my distance from others because I was afraid of my secret being exposed if I got close to someone. Hmm. <sighs> There's something that I'd like to ask you, Harukawa. What you said the other day. Uh. About you being interested in me before I confessed. What did you mean by that? I've also been interested in you for a while, Akiyama-kun. Uh... I meant exactly what I said. The first time I met Akiyama-kun wasn't in a class, but at a library. At that time, I saw you hurriedly looking for a book. Then all of a sudden, a random book fell off the shelf. And I saw how instead of ignoring it, you picked it up and put it back where it was. That's when I thought, ah, he's probably a nice person. Uh, that's it? I'm sure anyone would have done the same thing. I, I guess, but even if you didn't do anything special, I really did think that you were a nice person. Uh. And my intuition wasn't wrong. The Akiyama-kun, who kept being friendly with me instead of fearing me after finding out that I was a monster, is without a doubt a nice person. Th that has nothing to do with being a nice person. If I'm friendly with you, it's because I want to, okay? So... You're so cute, Akiyama-kun. 